On the 30th of April, the Netherlands' Queen Beatrix passed the Dutch throne to her son, Willem Alexander. Millions of Dutch people flocked to Amsterdam to celebrate the investiture of their new king. High above this huge event, the first for over 30 years, NATO was quietly helping the Netherlands provide security from the sky. During this event, a lot of head of states have uh, found their way to Amsterdam to be witness of the inauguration of King Willem Alexander. A lot of those head of states together make it a potential target for terrorists, and in order to provide security, we provide uh, low-level coverage with the E3 flying above the Netherlands. E3 is better known as NATO AWACS, and it provided security for the event in close coordination with the ground. We transmit everything we see directly to the ground. So low-flying targets and eventually threats to the area of the inauguration will be handled by the ground side. They might be able to send QRA F-16s or police helicopters patrolling the area to the potentially intruder. In the air, the color orange is the dress code of the day. The crew is composed of 16 people, the majority Dutch, but also including representatives from seven other countries. Four of them volunteered for the event. For Jasper and Bram, it is a very special mission. It's a, uh, actually one of the biggest events uh, you could actually have in the Netherlands. So uh, yeah, it's, it's a great honor to uh, participate in it. And also that's why we uh, wear the orange uh, t-shirt. It's a very special day for us, uh, for an, uh, NATO A3 component especially as Dutch guys who be at the coronation day and participate in this, uh, this crew, this special event. It's, uh, it's an honor for us. That's why I especially canceled my leave to uh, participate in this. In total, four AWACS aircraft took to the skies during the inauguration day, providing security fit for a king. This is a NATO Channel report.